What is up guys, it is Tony here and today we are doing a episode of the montage editing tutorial series and today we are doing a video where we talk about the CC lens effect. Now a lot of you guys probably don't know what the CC lens effect is. It's the effect basically where um, tons of aberration happens to the uh, scene and it just looks really cool. You'll recognize it when I show it to you in a minute. But basically it's an effect that a lot of people used back in the day that pretty much is not found on Final Cut. You can look through all these effects, you can look through all the plugins online, and you will not find it. I don't know why it's not on here, but it isn't. But there's one place where you can find it, and that is with Magic Bullet Looks. Magic Bullet Looks is a third-party color correction program, and boy is it great for doing CC lines. You actually just saw the effect there because I was testing it out earlier. But basically all you're going to do is you're going to go into your tools, and you're going to go into your lens corrections, and you're going to go to lens distortion. In Lens Distortion, you can see you can do a massive fisheye, and you can also do the opposite of a fisheye. Now, the whole point of this effect, uh, even though a lot of people use it for different things, is basically to correct your lens aberration. Lens aberration is when your lens that you're using to record footage, usually a fisheye on a DSLR or on a GoPro, you can correct it by doing the opposite of what it does, and that will flatten out your footage and make it more 2D, and it doesn't look as ridiculous like this. Uh, but what a lot of people use this correction, mostly this type of correction, for is to add a cool effect to their video. Um, lots of people like to animate it and keyframe it, but you really can't do that with Magic Bullet Looks. So this is what you're limited to. And let me tell you, you can do some really cool stuff with this. You can really add some more cool effects to your CC with this. I mean, you can just tell it looks relatively cool. I would recommend only adding it like on the slow-mo parts, like right here if you're reloading, because it kind of looks cool. Um, but it's all up to you. If you guys uh, enjoyed this tutorial, I know it's a short one because there's really not much to show. Um, go ahead and like and comment. And if you have suggestions for future videos, anything you're curious about, how to edit on Final Cut Pro or on the Mac, go ahead and leave a comment below and I'll try to answer you as soon as possible. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time.